What's going on, everybody? Dan on Filter checking out Dance Gavin Dance, and I told them I invented Times New Roman. These fucking song titles. Uh, this comes from a Patreon. Robert, appreciate. Is my was I off screen? Okay, whatever. Robert, this should be something there to click. Appreciate you, homie. And uh, if you guys did not know, I recently ate an elbow to the grill playing basketball. So until my dentist gives me a a set date for an appointment. I'm going to look like a hockey player. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, and pour, pour some out for my tooth, man. <laughs> yeah, pour some out for my tooth, man. <laughs> Let's check this out. What else have I... Hold on, real quick. What else have I heard off of Battle... Downtown Battle Mountain? Because I think this is their second album. Johnny Craig's on it. I'm, 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 test I'm still learning. I'm still trying to pick up all the dance, Gavin, dance knowledge. Um, Lemon Meringue. Limer Meringue ties on here, and that one, that, that's, that might be my favorite Johnny Craig version. Like, I don't know about it as a whole song, but him, that felt like his sweet spot for uh, Dance, Gavin Dance, was what he did in that song. Like, it was perfect. He just got to kind of punk through it. Yeah. While, while John was just fucking going ape shit in the back. Perfect. Perfection. But let's check this out. I told them I invented Times New Roman. Who comes up with the song titles? If anyone knows, let me know. Because I, I've, I've asked, I asked Robert and he had a guess, but we're not sure. I don't know if I like when they do it or, or I don't like when they do it. Because they, they do this a lot. No intro. You're just right in the song. It feels like I, like I fucked up and YouTube just starred me a minute in. tell or I'm starting to tell in these early early albums John definitely uses a lot more throat than he does now like now he's way more defined he kind of uses more of his not not his breasts I don't know what that was but <laughs> more of his lungs and his chest to not so it's not all throat here it's like 85% just voice box <laughs> Yeah, John's, or not John, uh, or technically also John, but Johnny Craig is at his best, for me, I think, when he kind of is more unleashed, like it's less controlled, he kind of gets to be Tillian-esque, if I may, where he kind of can just wail through the song instead of just sing verse, verse, like a normal singer, when it feels like just close the studio door, just sing the song, just however you feel it, instead of singing it by the book. Like, he's just wailing away here. 
much better. This bitch. His like talk sing voice, his talk singing voice kind of a little bit, a little bit of uh, the weekend ish. Play with me. Did Dance Gavin Dance just do some double pedal there? Maybe. Cheers to that for those who have a, a cold beverage. <laughs> but was that some double pedal from Dance Gavin Dance? That doesn't happen very often. Not that prevalent. Okay, it said it had three seconds left. I'm like, hey, the way that was going, it, any other note would have been would have been nice. Whoa, man, that ending was very unexpected. That got heavy, like that got legitimately pretty damn heavy. Is that that might be the heaviest minute? I, I, I I'm terrible with time, but I would assume that was. It felt like a minute. So I, I the heaviest minute, one minute. Of Dance Gavin Dance. That might have been it. Because even the guitars. It was like what? And when they were doing it. I'm, I could tell it was close to the end of the song. I was like oh fuck. They're going to do this to me. This is just. They're going to end the outro. With this awesome. Riff. Drum combination. And it'll just, it'll just stop. And I'm like fuck. Because I really want to hear John. Go in with that. 
and he did. Not for very long, but he did. So at least I got a taste. I would like the whole song like that. But that was awesome. That whole song was really good. I didn't expect that outro took things to a different direction that I didn't see coming for the rest of the song. By the tone of the rest of the song. What can you say, man? That was dance. That is the Dance Gavin dance at their pinnacle, which again, you switch out whatever singer you want for whichever singer. They still do the intertwine with John shit. And it works so well. So maybe he's the key to the vocals. Is just that he is so easy to mix with. Like, they can kind of just wail and do their thing. And he just chops it up in the background. Just fucking shit up. And this version of John, this older version, the, the most throat vocal box version, which is a good thing he kind of learned to use more of his upper body because... This probably would not have lasted too long before it starts to really fuck his throat up. But this version, it's almost, it, it's an odd thing. Because it, it sounds like, like when he sings, his voice sounds like it's on its last, last gasp. But yet, he has a lungs are full of last gasps. Because he just keeps coming with them. Because you expect, if any other singer just did one or two, I'll say two, John bars that he does here, just two bars of John singing, sounding like that, you would think, okay, they're clearly tired. They're going to need a second to breathe. That's just the way the guy sounds. Like every law, every, the whole song, he sounds like he's on his last breath. But he's not because he's, he's doing the whole song like that. But it's just, it's pretty remarkable. It, it, he's, it's like he's just right there, grisp. Reaching up at what he's got left. And he apparently has four and a half minutes left. Because he sang the whole song like that. But that song was awesome. That was also Johnny Craig in his bag. Again, where they just kind of let him go off a little. Go off the beaten path. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's, it's okay to go a little off the direction that the script actually says. His voice works for it. And he does kind of sound the weekendish when he does the talk singing. Which is not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Another another absolute banger from Dance Gavin Dance. And this is one, by the sound of it, that is a little surprising that no one mentioned to, to check this one out earlier. Because I have no idea what number song I'm on for Dance Gavin Dance in total. I would assume we've got to be around 20 and maybe a little over, right? I'll check after the video, but it's got to be. I would, if I had to guess, I would say it's over 20. It, it, right? We could be nearing, I wouldn't say 30, but it could be. I wouldn't be shocked if we were. It's been a good bit. So this is kind of surprising because this is an absolute no-brainer. The way, the way it sounds, that sounds like a no-brainer. Like, that's... Come on. Like, it, that's one of those where it's not a debatable. This one is, this is a good song. Almost, to, this is almost one of those songs to where if you're going to introduce it, introduce this band to someone who's never heard of them, this might be in the discussion of one of the top five songs of theirs that maybe to suggest. Because it's hard for anyone who likes music and at least are okay with harsh vocals. You slide this over to him, it's hard to imagine them saying, ass sucked. You sure you like music, bro? You sure? This sounds like it's more of a you thing. Not, <laughs> not a Dance Gavin Dance thing. It's a you problem. Yeah. You need a Q-tip, asshole? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Robert, appreciate you. Everyone else, hit like. Subscribe if you are still here. You are a real one.